there are several different measures of central tendency and unfortunately they are often all referred together as the average. There is one thing that is true of all measures of central tendency and that is all measures of central tendency must be within the range of minimum to maximum within the data set. Today we're specifically going to talk about one measure of central tendency known as the arithmetic mean. It is calculated by the following equation. The numerator involves the sum of the scores of our data set and the denominator is the number of scores in our data set. Now this results in the use of some mathematical symbols. This Greek sigma letter stands for the sum of the scores within a data set. The letter N stands for the number of scores in the data set. So let's take a look at some examples. Here we have a rather small data set and before we do anything with it to come up with the mean, let's remember to take a look at our range of minimum to maximum. The lowest anyone scored was an 8, the highest anyone scored was a 10 any measure of central tendency, including the arithmetic mean, must be within that range. The other thing we've got to notice is our sample size within our data set. We have three numbers, so we're going to have an n of three. Now let's take these scores and add them up to get their sum. The sum of the scores happens to be 26. Okay, let's calculate our mean. We take 26 divide by 3 equal. And then we have 8.666. Round it off to 8.67. That is the arithmetic mean of this data set. Let's do our error check is 8.67 between 8 and 10? Yes, it passes that test. Let's try another data set, this time of more numbers. Before we do anything else, let's establish our range of minimum to maximum. Minimum score of 2, nobody scored lower than that, and nobody scored higher than a 7. Now let's count how many scores there are, and this gives us our n of 4. Now we add up the scores to get the sum of the scores, and that's 17. Okay, we're now ready to do the calculation. 17, which is our sum of the scores, divided by our sample size of 4, equals 4.25. 4.25 is the arithmetic mean of this data set. Now before we go any further, let's do that error check. Look at the minimum, look at the maximum. Yes, the mean is between the minimum and the maximum. So that's how we calculate the arithmetic mean, the sum of the scores divided by the number of scores, a measure of central tendency.